Center. Rochelle Carey is there. All right. What more do we know about the vaccine here, Rochelle? Um, we know that um, most places do not have shortages, Mike, but we want to stay in that region of the Northeast and see how one clinic is doing as far as shortages. Dr. John Hong is at the uh, Cape Regional Medical Center in New Jersey. We talked to him on Friday. Let's check in now and see um, how, how are you doing. Do you have any shortages, Dr. Hong? Well, uh, usually we do. Not this year. We have plenty of flu shots and they are going like candy. <laughs> uh, so you've had a lot of people that have wanted to come in and get these shots. Yes, because who wants to stay at home with a high fever laying in bed for like two to three days feeling like you're going to die? It's, it's a horrible thing. It is. So how have things been over the weekend since we last talked to you? Well, I just talked to the Cape May Health Department and they said there is no end in sight right now. It seems to be increasing more and more our uh, Cape Regional ER and Urgent Care Center as well as all our offices. We are busy, busy, busy. And of course, we tell people if they think they have the flu and they don't have any other problems with it, stay home. Are people getting that message? I don't know. <laughs> Yesterday I was at a restaurant and some guy was hacking and coughing and I almost said something and I said, don't get it. <laughs> you almost said you should actually be at home. Yes. I mean, unless you're short of breath or you're mm -hmm. dehydrated, not to mention the fact that there is a norovirus, so people are vomiting and having diarrhea on top of the flu, mm -hmm. which can be a disaster. You need to get IV hydration, get help in the emergency department. But in general, you want to stay home and, you know, wait it through and mm -hmm. drink plenty of fluids. If you need to take your Tylenol, take your over-the-counter medications, depending on what your other health conditions are. Mm -hmm. You can always call your primary care physician for advice. But the last thing I want to do is go around and contam contaminate everyone. Someone at the grocery store was hacking away and he says, I have a fever and body aches. And I said, you had the flu, you should be home. And he just looked at me. <laughs> so from what you're seeing, though, it's, it doesn't seem to you like we're anywhere near the peak. No, we're not. Hmm. OK. Yeah, I'm fortunate. But this is what happens every flu season. But this is definitely the worst I've seen in 10 years. OK, so but I think you really are, are doing a, a great job of driving home the point that we could certainly lessen it if we stop um, contaminating each other. <laughs> and, and I think that I must be one of the 60 percent of people who got the good flu shot because I always get sick and I have not gotten sick. So I'm glad I got my flu shot. So get your shot. And if you do end up getting sick, stay home. Um, Dr. Hong, great information. We're going to continue to check in with you for the next few days. So do keep us posted, OK? Sure, you bet. All right. I'm um, coming up at the bottom of the hour. Um, they say that we are what we eat. We're going to talk about some foods you can eat that can help prevent the flu. Foods like uh, garlic, mushrooms, um, even cookies, Mike. Boy, and if you get a little achy, stay away from Dr. Hong. He is He's not playing. He is not. not. <laughs> and he'll, but he'll say it with a smile on his face, but he means it. I know he does. So. <laughs>